Hey, how's it going, everyone? My name is Frey, or Frey Darkness, and I'm bringing you a really wicked good gameplay here. Now, it's not absolutely fantastic, but I do get some cool feeds that are actually featured in my Black Ops 2 montage revelations, uh, which, by any chance, if you would like to check out, is in the description. Also, so just moving on to my actual topic here, I want to go ahead and mention that um, I, w I wouldn't personally say it is confirmed, but as according to GT uh, IGN, I'm sorry, Apparently, according to AGN, it is confirmed. Now, this is because they actually managed to get Reggie to say that it may come to Wii U. Now, I don't know about you, but that doesn't really sound like a definitive answer. But according to them, it's been confirmed. So there you go. Take what you will from that. The video to the actual, or the link to the actual video, if you guys want to check it out for yourselves, in the description below as well. It's IGN fix. Um, okay, so moving on. So recently. A, I guess blogger from IGN got to actually go ahead and test out some of GTA's multiplayer recently and he had nothing but great things to say according to this article. I'll post the link in the description to the article below of course uh, and it just looks awesome. So the article is titled 10 crazy awesome things I saw and did in Grand Theft Auto Online. So he has a basic list. Uh, starting with rob a liquor store together and then betray each other. So the basic breakdown of what happens here is that you can in fact uh, wait for your, I guess, getaway or getaway. You can be the getaway driver or you can be the actual person who's robbing the convenience store. You can drive. On the way there, you can fight over the radio station. Maybe he wants to listen to something else. Maybe you want to listen to something else. So you can argue about that. Of course, you can at any point step out of your car and blow the other person's brains out. Um, or you could just say, I will turn this car around and nothing will happen that day. So, depending on how much you want it to escalate, you can just keep driving to the convenience store and actually rob the convenience store. Now, so much stuff can happen here. You can uh, uh, wait for him to get out of the convenience store. As a getaway driver, you can wait for him to get back. Or you could leave. Leave him stranded there and let the police take care of it. Or you could actually call the police yourself um, as to betray your partner because, hey, that guy didn't let me listen to the radio I wanted to. You can also, um, of course, kill him on the way out and rob the convenience store yourself. So, when you're actually in the convenience store as a robber, you can actually yell through your mic, assuming you have a microphone, to apparently intimidate the clerk, which is really cool. I can only imagine uh, what can be said in these situations. I can only imagine Samuel, Samuel Jackson is the only man that pops up in my head when I hear people yelling profusely to uh, intimidate someone um, so that's just freaking cool and apparently as the actual robber you get to decide how you split the money so you can actually give I don't know 10% 20% or split it 50 50 as you wish or you of course you can always kill the person your teammate and not give them anything or the getaway driver can kill the actual robber and take all the money for himself there's clearly a lot of situations and outcomes that can come out of this. Number two is race your friends and hope you or other friends don't get in the way. So as he speaks, he mentions how they were racing in some very nice souped up cars and all of the while they run into a roadblock. But this isn't a roadblock because of what they're doing, it's a roadblock because of what everyone else in the world seems to be doing. It seems that they ra managed to rack up quite a bit of stars and there are police cars, tanks, and all this stuff going down. Meanwhile, you're just racing and trying to not be in the way. So that's pretty funny. And it compares it to a burnout paradise and Need for Speed Most Wanted shoved in there. Albeit in a world ten times as large, as he says. Number three, steal a freaking plane and land it safely while you friends escort you. So, as he states, it is a mission, or one of the biggest, highest caliber missions in GTA dubbed Titan Steel. So apparently you get to fly uh, a crew of four from a military base, steal a cargo plane and get it back to your own airship miles away. Uh, apparently he had trouble landing it, but it's pretty cool. Upon the arrival shootout with the military of the Titan's hangar, my teammates covered for me while I jumped into a semi-truck and trailer that was blocking the Titan's escape. So apparently a lot of stuff went down, you stole a plane, and it's a big hefty plane to steal. Uh, number four, full mult multiplayer golf and tennis. So, of course, there's golf courses and tennis uh, mini games, and compares it to actual Tiger Woods PGA Tour and top spin hidden inside San Andreas, so, which is really really cool. Apparently, you can act it's not just a mini game; um, it's actually playing mini or golf in a real open, realistic-looking world. 
Uh, five is number chill out and at your house and spark bull. So as he states, you can actually hang out with your buddies in your apartment bought with a persistent in-game cash and they can hang on sit on the couch and take hits off your bong you can even get high which will have screen altering effects i can only imagine what trouble will ensue after you do that uh it'd be really cool too because it offers different variety of gameplay i assume um also apparently you have a telescope which unfortunately won't look in space it seems but it will magnify the world so you can actually look out your telescope and i guess go peeping or stuff and that looks pretty interesting as well also um, it seems you will also have your own TV, uh, TV which will show closed circuit security television monitors as well as other sh shows on there so you can check out TV while you're there. Apparently you can also shower to wash that dried blood, blood off your body so that's convenient as well. And six, the most popular missions bubble up so there's quite a bit of missions here it seems there are over a hundred missions which seems like endless amount of fun. Um, number seven, you can go to the movies. You can actually go and hang out with the movies with up to 16 people. Of course, you can do so much stuff in the theater. Uh, not only watching movie, you can hook up, I guess. I'm assuming there's female characters in this game. You can go outside and blow up the theater or wait for them to get outside and blow up everyone who was just watching a movie. So this adds a lot of realism and uh, terrorism, I guess. Number eight, ATM. So apparently, you can actually get your money stolen if you die, so it's best to start putting all that cash away in an ATM before uh, moving on. If, unless you're cool with your friends stealing your money, and unless they're most likely gonna transfer it back to you. Number nine, you can create your own missions, which isn't very much uh, spoken about. But number ten, you can visit a strip club, uh, strip club, and apparently there's a make it rain button where you can just <laughs> make it rain, drop bills and bills on top of them and it seems pretty cool apparently uh, you can only do that unless the bouncers are not watching you it seems and yeah that's pretty much it uh, as far as th this person discussed it looks awesome it sounds awesome I'm even more hyped than I was previously I don't know about you guys but I'm definitely getting it on PS3 I'm sure it will come to Wii U and I'm definitely getting it for Wii U as well because I want to play with you guys and this game is just absolutely awesome. It's definitely worth owning twice. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and thank you for watching.